Hi everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hot to Full Boyfriend. Last episode got a little weird, especially with the punkchins, punk pigeons at the end of the story. The so far, my thoughts of the game. Um, I'm not super impressed by the writing. I'm not super impressed by the plot. I don't know. It just seemed like a lot of this again. I'm comparing against against coming out on top, and I just guess I'm feeling spoiled right now because now that I've been playing this, because this was a really popular game, I'm starting to feel spoiled because coming out on top, I think, really had a lot going for it. I'm still, like I said, you know, enjoying the game enough that I want to continue on and finish up the school year and see what happens. But that's this is just the impression that I'm getting now that it seems like we're roughly. Well, I mean, it's the end of the first semester, and we're in the middle, we're in the summer, and now we're about to go into the next semester after the summer's over. So I feel like we're more than halfway, almost, through the game. It's not that it's not meant to be that long of a game, um, because I think there's you're supposed to have a decent amount of replay value out of it. But you know, just some observations. So who would I want to go with? I kind of feel bad that I took Ryota's job, so just so that you know we can re you know reestablish our friendship and just know that there isn't any hard feelings i'll invite him to the to the festival the summer festival thanks for inviting me harkura come on let's go so many booths how are we supposed to choose use your hunter gatherer instincts harkura let's go find something oh, wait use your hunter gatherer instincts harkura let's go find something to eat i'll pay oh how sweet what no fair i'm paying for yours it's a deal. Hmm, yakitori sounds good right about now. Okay, and so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love some me some yakitori. They go through these. They go through each of these like activities, these dates, and it's just like lasts a few seconds long. You know, for for a game that sort of advertise itself as a dating game when you actually go on these dates they don't really they leave much to be desired you just kind of oh, okay so you hang out with so and so you, here's like a you know five second conversation that you had with each other and then you're done I, it leaves a lot to be desired time sure flies when i'm in here see you all around kenzaburo I'm glad that you had fun with Mr. Kenzaburo, Rabu. Oh, hey, Harkura. Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day. Did he spend the night in the cage? Methinks he did. I know exactly what you got going on here. I know exactly. You can't put one fast one on me. Gestures to me on his way out of the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. See you all around. Good day to you, Rabu. Okay. I don't know why there's old little town of Bethlehem playing in the background, but okay. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Hakura? You won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tanjiro left? Tanjiro left? Of course. Here you are. Man, we're a pigs. <laughs> we're, we're eating a lot lately. Mmm. Tanjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Mmm. By the way, Mr. Shirhara? Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a knight? Security guard or something? Oh, Harkora. Harkora. <sighs> so innocent. A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. A likely story. He likes to come here to relax before work. A likely story. A budgerigar who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. If you know what I'm talking about. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. 
And here I took him for the type of to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm. Haven't I met another careful driver recently? Yeah. So. One more week until the end of August. Wow, summer's going by. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Harukura. It's been a pleasure. You're very welcome, sir. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Ushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? <laughs> yes, Rabu. Miss Harukura is, is a Harukura is. Miss Harukura is a student, and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Uh huh. This looks like we're gonna be doing some extra studying. Doing the last half in one week? I re reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Harukura. Uh, you have you 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 have the other the other bird, sir, to keep you company. L at least Kanzaburo ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Business. Every birdie who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city. An island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh, welcome. Azami, you came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege now, can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. Yay, have a seat please. Uh, Azami, is that you? Uh, her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of these scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. D do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? Azami, I... Ooh, things are getting a little... The plot sickens, ladies and gentlemen. How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him any moment. Um, Azami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Miss Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Oh boy. Given it a diff totally different context, men who drive around in, in cars and give out candy. Not necessarily as nice as you might think in certain other contexts. Please forgive him. Stay out of this kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? Ooh. Blaster? What? What? I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a burr on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hasokawa Blaster. Carve it in your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. Wow. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies have followed you to the ends of the earth. And we all knew we had we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. S since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law, but when you ride, you ride on the inside. You are pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul as well as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You are my hero. But a hero doesn't run away, and you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales, on to the love story. Azami, I, I can tell, I have hurt you, I'm sorry. But, tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Urshihara remains exactly as he was when it all started, slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang in his real 
fake name is Hasokawa Blaster? This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake and you look like a Mr. Fava Bean. And you look like Mr. Fava Bean. Mr. Fava Bean? <laughs> this... It fits so well. I don't like fat men. Whoa, I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Azami subjects Mr. Fava Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? I should bring up... Azami Marshall's, Azami's Martial Arts Azami's Scooter. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Harkura? I think you... I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Oh, that's right. I, I was like, good one. I was like, where have I seen that before? Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Good one, Harkura. Ah, they're like, brr, brr. I saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that? She loves him. I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, Harkura, my name isn't. I saw it with my own two eyes when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. Y you're pretty sharp for a human kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. It was a sad story. You left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks, I've had enough of that. You threw me away, and there's nothing that can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads. But would I could be, be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but... Is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that... Timid. I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You... I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd saved money, but that wasn't good either. And maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosowaka Blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. Asami, enough girl talk. Marry me! Oh my gosh. This whole story is just... Of course! Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I'm glad I got this job, because I would have totally missed out on that beautiful of a storyline. Hatoful Boyfriend original version. Wait! No, it's not over yet! Stop the credits! Yeah, I still have a whole other semester. This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. Nice, I love the humor game. Who did that? Who started the ending screen there? Break the third wall. Break the third wall. Jeez. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urshihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives... Ooh. Can I go back? I skipped. I didn't mean to skip over that. Something about our lives. Something insert wisdom, sage advice. Japanese sage advice here. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss Harkura. Yes, sir. Well, that was some last day of... Those who want to see others. Those who want to be seen. The soothing mecca for all such people. Torimi Cafe, Poco's Forest. Oh, cool. Tea, next to Chattering Birds. Is this supposed to be some sort of a... Is this supposed to be some sort of an advertisement to the tea place? Curry rice to die for. Oh my gosh, it is! This is an advertisement! Look at this! They've got the map and everything! Address, Poco no Mori, Spice Building 312, Telephone, email, opening hours, 
birdcafe.jp Wednesday to Sunday, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Really, game? Really? Wow. I don't even... I don't even know what... To, I don't know how to feel about this. Wow, that's just... Okay. Right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. And if you still haven't had your fill of avian company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Torimi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you. As of September 2011, please check the website for more recent information. <laughs> As of 2011, oh my gosh. I shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you. Oh, and they might have their own Kenzaburo in there. Edition 12, carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. Carve, achieve and unlock, carve it into your soul. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have gotten, I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? It's gonna be, I'm gonna be late. Sorry. Oh, hello, Angel. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, uh, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Angel? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Ooh, you're just a little bit early. What? Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Angel? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help, if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... I want to... Study in the li- yeah, I should study in the library. So if I have to do my homework and all that good stuff. The library should be open now, I think I'll go study. Um, I'm sorry sir, but I'm not sure I prepared enough for my tests. I'd like to go study if it's alright. Of course, work hard today, okay? First day back of school and I'm already working hard. That's so like me, studying on the first day of school, of, on the first day of class, studying, that's so like me. There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks mostly third years? They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year? I wonder. Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss Angel, did you need something? Why are you over here? There are still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds? Is that it? He nods. Oh, this is the shy one. They'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nadeki, are you being... Bullied? That's the first thing I'm gonna ask. He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. I'm not, I am very sympathetic towards people who are bullied. Um, good morning everyone. I hope you had, a, had fun over the summer. Crew! Okosan is always having fun. Yup, yup. What is this fun? Once summer's over, our time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus. Focus, sir. Focus. Oh gosh. Hatupo boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Second term. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from two two? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gotten home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. Zzz. Sir. Oh, hello, Hakura. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Hakura. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... Did you find this today? You found, you did find this today, right, Angel? Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. Well, that's kind of scary. So then, was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? 
It's awfully clean, though. Should it at least be dusty? That is kind of strange. Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Angel. That's weird. That's really peculiar. I wonder what's going on with that. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend math class. I want to get at least 21 in my wisdom. I had hoped for something a little more interesting from an elective, but this is dull. I can barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakuya. Whoa. Are you going to curry favor with me? Hmm. He looks happy, though. Even after, you know, I made him clean his own office. Hakura, Hakura, leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Still, I'm curious as to what those scores are going to do at the end of the game. Oh, that was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. Hey, Hakura. Ryota, what's up? Want to walk home together? Though, if you're going somewhere else... Uh, yeah. I would love to. Come on. Sure. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. I do love fall. Fall's a great, it's a great season. Especially in early fall when it's starting to cool down, but it's not too hot. You know, maybe even when it gets colder near the end, the air is nice and crisp, but not freezing. And of course, at least in this side of side of uh, the, the country, the side of US, the leaves are changing into oranges and browns and yellows and purples. And uh, I do love me some fall. Not my absolute favorite season, but definitely, it's probably my second favorite season is fall, especially early fall. Hey, look, a swallow, the most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest. They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all the birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Herakura. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Aww! Ryota's backstory! Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. That... that's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. <laughs> How romantic, Harkura. Though, you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah, thank you, Harkura. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Ever since I've... I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing genes. How romantic, Ryota. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. Ryota's. Ryota's so sweet. <laughs> Today is the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Why not? So many things I can do, to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, Angel. Mr. Tanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Could you maybe help at the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than we expected. Of course, I shall meet out information and directions like an Oni of old, cle cleaver in hand, seated atop a throne, wrought from the skulls of my foes. That's kind of dramatic. Thank you, I'll go get a chair. Okay, we weren't given an option to refuse, so I guess we're doing this. Ah, it looks like the crowd is thinking out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine, just a little. At least he held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. Okay. Ah, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? What did I walk into? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. 
Awam Awamain, Iwamain. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers. Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have ever overestimated you. Really, sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll side with Kazuki. Side with Shu. Side with Kazuki. Kazu Kazuaki. That's not very nice, Doctor. What do you want? Hello, Angel. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil? Uh-huh. I window shop too much on the way home, and the sun's already down. Wee! Huh? Who's a cute girl handing out flyers? Oh, wow. Okay. What, what are you doing, Ryota? The festival's over. Or is that... Is that what you always... Is Ryota? Is that his other job? Oh, no. Is this what he does? Is this his night job? Never would have guessed. No, no, this is my job. What kind of a job is that? Y you're misunderstanding. It's just a transvestite cafe. Oh, I'm not misunderstanding at all. We need the money. Here, you take a flyer too. Now I feel bad for taking your own. Oh, oh, I feel bad for taking Ryota's opportunity to work at the other place now. Oh, um, I'll ask for you when I get go there. Find a better job. <laughs> Seriously, Ryota. Thanks for the concern, but really, it's fine. I, I told my mother and everything. Well, okay. Sorry for bothering you. Good luck, Ryota. Thanks, you should come sometime. I work on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. He's always working hard. Okay, Ryota. You know, if you gotta pay the bills, you gotta pay the bills. Ryota, wanna walk home together? Um, sorry, I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later? Okay, is something wrong, Ryota? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Hakura. Oh, talk to me, buddy. His smile is incredibly inconvincing. But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do any birdie any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Oh, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs and get back into the game. Huh? What's Ryota doing over there? And why is he coming out of... The hospital? Oh no! Why is Ryota coming out of the hospital? We're gonna find out in the next video, guys. <laughs> so evil like that. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend. Tune in next time and we'll find out what's what's going on with Ryota. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Until then, love yourselves and love each other.